Let's shift focus and talk about how to deal with anger from others in the workplace. HR professionals suggest that after an employee has expressed anger or frustration, a good practice to help resolve conflict is to reflect on what has been said before having a conversation. Then try to rephrase the problem or issue in your own words. This demonstrates that you are thinking about what the angry person has presented and you're trying to empathize with them. Even if you don't agree, you can show them that you respect their viewpoint and you're not dismissing the validity of their argument. Let's say an employee is angry because they weren't given a promotion that they expected and now they're feeling undervalued. There are three steps to take when you rephrase the problem back to the employee. Understand what it is that they're feeling why they are feeling it, and what they would like to see happen. In your conversation with them, you might say, let me make sure I'm understanding you correctly. This is an issue because you feel undervalued. You feel the problem was caused because you were not given the promotion and that we can resolve it by reconsidering your candidacy. As a manager, it's important to both encourage sharing feelings and discourage poor behavior. Our unique backgrounds shape how we interpret and manage stress and anger. Be sure to recognize and allow appropriate outlets for frustration. Having a constructive conversation with an employee can allow them to express their feelings instead of ignoring them. This can avoid frustration being expressed in an unacceptable manner, such as through violence, swearing, and throwing things. Such behavior should be called out as soon as it occurs, but again, in a constructive way. If you're able, offer the individual compassion and coaching. For example, you could say, I know that you're angry and that's okay, but this isn't the place. Do you want to take a break for a few minutes? It might be difficult to remove ourselves from a situation, especially if we have a strong opinion. Sometimes that passion can come across as anger. It might be helpful to say, I hear that you feel strongly about this and I'm trying to understand your perspective. Can you take a step back and help me see where this is coming from? Now let's talk about the organizational standards for handling anger in the workplace. Most companies have policies in place to address unacceptable behavior in the workplace. It's the responsibility of the company to set the standard regarding acceptable employee conduct and how misconduct will be addressed. As part of a healthy work environment, an employee should feel like they have advocates on their side. This can be found in a team of managers and the HR department. These are people who are capable of addressing inappropriate behavior in an efficient, professional manner. If someone on this team has tried techniques to de-escalate an angry colleague, but there has been no improvement, then that may be cause for a warning, either verbal or written, or termination. In these escalated situations, it's helpful to stick with the facts of the behavior and express how those actions impact the performance of the team and the company. It's important to explain to the employee that their actions are creating an unsafe work environment that is negatively impacting the goals of the business. Sometimes, these escalated situations are unavoidable. Be sure to offer regular training to the members of your team responsible for handling these situations. The goal is to avoid moments like these by having calm, constructive conversations, acknowledging people's feelings, and taking time to reflect.